What I'm going to talk today about is energy and creating space to relax, right? We just went through a big transition, 16 months in the making, finally closed on a company. When you relinquish the title and you kind of hand over the reins to somebody else, you're looking for your next kind of mountain, your next. Guys, welcome back. This is Austin Linney with your Friday rant. What I'm going to talk today about is energy and creating space to relax, right? Which is very, very very hard for me. We, we just, just went through a big transition, 16 months in the making, finally closed on a company. And I transitioned out of CEO role and handed over my CEO role to my COO. And I became president, which switches my roles. And there was a lot of energy to get this business across the finish line. It's been a big turnaround. We've created a lot of value in the business, but it's been hard. We created a lot of systems. Uh, we're expanding the business. There's so much going on, big projects that the company's never done before and, and so on and so on. And, you know, when you relinquish the title and you kind of hand over the reins to somebody else, you're looking for your next kind of mountain, your next kind of acquisition to do. And, you know, I have two podcasts, I, I coach, I have this business, I have another two businesses on the side. So, you know, four businesses, two podcasts, coaching people. And I still feel like, you know, my schedule is not full enough, not doing enough, right? But what I didn't realize was two things. What I'm doing has changed. So no longer am I kind of paid for my uh, relentless work ethic. It's more of coaching and understanding the strategic plan. That's a shift, but also didn't realize how much time I needed to rest up for the next mountain. You might see a theme in my content from time to time where I kind of get on the same topic and I'm, I don't think that we're giving ourselves enough freedom to kind of take, still work and execute, but maybe not fill our schedule the way that we need it to. Maybe you kind of back up off the extra, because does that, we really need to do that right now? Can we, can we push that back? And I think that we, we fill up our schedules because it makes us feel like we're doing something towards our goals, but then we might be so tired that when we have the things that are on our schedule, we're not showing up the way that we need to. So are you really getting the most out of that activity that you're doing and how much, if I were to go into your schedule, how much can I look on your schedule and realize that we could get rid of 30, 40, 60% or it can be done later on. Like how many things in your life are you not giving the right space, the energy, the time necessary because you're half-assing it or you're kind of uh, sleepwalking through it. You have to know that you're maximizing your opportunities by giving it the effort and the energy that it needs. And so you're looking at your schedule, right? I started out saying this is about energy and rest, but like maybe it's more about scheduling. Maybe it's more about understanding how much of your stuff on your schedule is not a fuck yes or it's not something that's really getting you to see there's multiple different type of meetings, right? There's planning seed meetings, executing meetings, and there's money making meetings, right? And each of them have their place. So maybe you do three plant seed meetings, do four money maker meetings, and you do four execution meetings a week and that's enough. See, when you're planting seeds for bigger things to come, those meetings, those are gonna bear fruit and you need to be in the best version of yourself to do that. So if you're doing tons of those per week, then maybe you're creating kind of inefficiencies in your life. And so I want to make sure that you're maximizing the opportunities that are on your schedule by looking at them with clear eyes and not giving them, having them on there just to have them on there, but having them on there where they're a fuck yes. Hope everybody got some value from this and we'll see you next time.